Hello everyone, I'm delighted to be joining you at this pre-expo event on tolerance and inclusivity from Malaysia. We should of course be in Dubai by now, but as we all know, COVID has forced us to delay our physical meetings and gatherings. It is nonetheless vital that we hold events like this to maintain our interactions, continue our exchanges of knowledge, and of course hold fast to our enthusiasm and excitement for Expo 2020 Dubai. The team leading our efforts here in Malaysia have been working really hard to keep our pavilion in the public eye, educating stakeholders about our beautiful and sustainable design, and ensuring that once the pandemic subsides, Malaysia will have something unique to offer in Dubai. Tolerance and inclusivity are the theme of today's programme. And as a Malaysian, I'm blessed to live in a country where people can grow up um, belonging to different heritages, cultures and religions, and yet proudly call themselves citizens with a shared future ahead of us. Many of us join in the festivities of our fellow Malaysians through a unique institution called the Open House. And indeed, from long before independence, the story of tolerance and cooperation among the diverse peoples of what is today Malaysia has always been a strong part of our social fabric, a key ingredient of our political stability and economic prosperity. As a graduate of history and political science, I know it is important to learn from painful episodes of the past and to acknowledge challenges in tolerance uh, and inclusion in contemporary times as well. Earlier this year, all across the globe, there were protests against racial injustice, abuse of power, and structural weaknesses that allow people to be disadvantaged or even killed because of the color of their skin. Every country has their own unique challenges in these matters, influenced by history, geography, and political systems. There is no doubt that the coronavirus pandemic has added to these challenges, testing the strength of bonds and the extent of goodwill that exists in societies. Thankfully, in communities all across Malaysia, I have seen how people have stepped up to help each other across ethnic and religious lines. From charities working with businesses to ensure supply chains remain active so that much needed uh, food and medicines can reach the most vulnerable, to teachers innovating so that their students remain engaged with learning and with each other, to athletes and musicians finding amazing ways to inspire and motivate young Malaysians, and of course, to our frontline medical personnel treating everyone to the best of their ability. These are the stories that should be emphasized. And I believe most Malaysians already embrace this attitude, one that is consistent with the founding principles of the country um, and our Rukun Nagara. Even so, as we have seen throughout history, the hard-won peace and stability that we have secured can be undone if we don't continually protect it, not just through education or civic engagement, but also through public policies that make every Malaysian feel like a true valued citizen. And I hope this is what the government and the National Unity Ministry in particular will endeavour to ensure. In line with this, our Net Zero Carbon Pavilion at Expo 2020 will consist of two segments that will embed our experience of tolerance and inclusivity. In the Energising Business segment, we will feature trade and business programmes comprising SMEs and including social entrepreneurs, women and youth in pursuit of Malaysia's Shared Prosperity Vision 2030. This is a commitment towards sustainable development uh, growth and fair distribution across income, groups, ethnicities and regions. There will be 26 weekly thematic programmes based on six clusters, with 10 industries strategically planned to cover key sectors. We will foster collaborative efforts between government, academia, the private sector and civil society, while building and deploying local innovation talent and digital readiness. The National Science Council is involved in this process with an economic framework that integrates 10 technological drivers and 10 socio-economic drivers to raise the dynamic capability of the Malaysian economy. The second segment is the Energizing Harmony segment. Here we will showcase the very best of our cultural heritage through music and dance, arts and crafts, and of course our food. I can guarantee you some fantastic nasi lemak, satay and roti canai. And in addition, we will have a special Malaysia Day where even more special programs and performances will be hosted. Our goal is to make a contribution, however small, in sharing our experience of unity and diversity of existence and cooperation, of tolerance and inclusion. As the ambassador of the My Butterfly Effect campaign, I hope these efforts will inspire and motivate citizens and those in leadership positions to take action that will multiply the happiness and prosperity of all of us. Thank you very much.